named after Sir Andrew Clark, Blackheath was the centre of commercial enterprise in the late 19th century. Today, the restored warehouse features a whole range of restaurants and wine bars. With its recent revamp, Blackheath is one of the biggest entertainment zones of Singapore. Hello and welcome to Young Turks International. We're in Singapore and I'm Shireen Bhan. Over the next 30 minutes, you'll meet an entrepreneur, a professional and a theatre personality. Here's a quick clip. Yes, founded his first company when he was just in college. Since then, he set up six different companies from real estate to media and entertainment and even green technology. Let's catch up with serial entrepreneur Ash Singh, who even owns his own basketball team. Namaste. My name is Ash Singh. I'm 26 years old and I'm the interactive director of Imagine. Sing is An exotic mix of Indian roots, Canadian birth, Chinese education and Singaporean business experience. Ash Singh, the director of Imagine Omni Media, is a serial entrepreneur with six diverse businesses under his belt. One of his most talked about ventures is his production house that produces reality TV shows. And currently, Ash is on a high with the hit TV series, Contender Asia, capturing eyeballs. Media, software, e-commerce, sports and real estate. Ash truly believes variety is the spice of life. We started off in, uh, in real estate. We, with the money we made from our software, we ventured there. Hmm. Now we've got uh, equity interests in things like the Singapore Singers basketball team. Uh, to television shows, to clean energy, and all of it is actually working well together mm. because the sponsors that you have from TV can move to television right. and it can also help your new media interactive business. Mm. So there are, there is stuff that relates and um, that's also been very fruitful for us. So we have developed businesses mm. as part of an ecosystem and that has actually been one of the keys to our success today. Okay, now all of these businesses, some are about Kumban is about five years plus, the others are about a year and a half, two years, I yes. believe. Uh, how do you split your time between all of this? And, you know, how do you depend on setting up a core team to manage operations on a day-to-day -day basis? Because you're not going to be doing reality TV and real estate at the same time. Sure, absolutely. The, the biggest challenge I have is finding people that can execute at a very high level mm. and trust. Mm. These are the types of people that I've tried to find. Mm. and. Uh, I've been, I, I'd like to think that I've been successful in finding these types of individuals that help me build these businesses. Mm -hmm. So we have, in terms of our holding company, we have a strong list of partners that are helping us grow these businesses. And uh, I, I, I think that that is going to be the trajectory that's going to take us forward. So what are the size of the individual companies now? And have you set yourself a target or where you want to be in the next couple of years for each of these businesses? It's a, it's a good question. Um, I can tell you that uh, I started uh, in 2003 uh, with, um, you know, I was building software in my dorm room in Hong Kong, um, and since then we have created over $10 million of shareholder value. Mm -hmm. um, and in terms of expansion, um, I think financially, financials isn't my key motivation. The key thing for me is entering new markets, challenging ourselves, seeing how we can uh, continue to build our ecosystem mm -hmm. and build our asset base. Mm -hmm. At 25, Ash took his passion for basketball, assembled a consortium of investors and acquired a stake in the local professional team, the Singapore Slingers. Dribbling his way forward, Ash has netted about $4.4 million this year. And the next big play is producing the cricket and football reality show along with ESPN Star. How's the basketball going? It's, it's a new breed of sport that's mm. being introduced at a professional level here. And uh, we have uh, had a lot of success. We've, been, we've had a team for two years. Mm -hmm. 
we've doubled attendance year over year. Mm -hmm. And I think we have a very competitive team and we are going to be one of the teams to be reckoned with in Asia on, on the pro level. You've already got six businesses up and running. Anything else in the pipeline that we should know about? Uh, what we are doing now is Singapore has been a fantastic uh, foundation for us to build. Looking outside. Now we are going to build outside. So, and what uh, are the key markets that you're looking India. at? India. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, it makes sense as far as the media business is concerned, for sure. Even in real estate, there's yeah. a lot of potential there. Um, and there are a lot of people that are looking at the India market as a, as, as a, as a, as a growth trajectory for them. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had a lot of success in Southeast Asia, from Singapore to Indonesia to Vietnam to Cambodia. And now we want to move out. So which know? one's likely to take off the first? Is it going to be real estate or? I suspect the cricket show yeah. would probably be yeah. first. Yeah. Um, and secondly, I've been, uh, I think our, our, our trade and business. Mm -hmm. To his route, Ash is taking his passion for the turban online. He's created a website, RateMyTurban.com, in 2005, and its success has now moved him to launch Turbanizer.com. Both websites get over 10,000 hits from turban fans every day, making him perhaps the coolest Sikh on the World Wide Web. He was also recently honored with the Canadian Centennial Award for Entrepreneurial Excellence and Community Service. There's another very interesting business idea that you've been working with and, and I think you're wearing one of your own creations, yes. but the turban, so you've sort of, you know, you're the Singaporean form of the turbinator yeah. that, that we have in India. Absolutely. absolutely. Um, turban fashion is relatively boring. Yeah. Okay. Um, anywhere outside of India, all you see is black turbans and maybe red turbans and maybe navy blue turbans. Wasn't really thought as a fashion statement, was it? <laughs> Absolutely. And, and what, I've, what, I've, what I've realized, even in terms of my business experience, um, uh, the turban for me, although it is part of my cultural roots and religious roots, is something that actually plays an important role when I do business, mm -hmm. especially here in Singapore. Mm -hmm. uh, when you walk into a meeting and they look at you, the, my presentation, I think my turban styles is the thing that stands out the most, and uh, frankly speaking, breaks you know, the ice. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> it's, it's a great icebreaker, you know. So I thought to myself, why not actually build a brand around turbans and make it easy for people to learn how to dress well and have a very distinct turban. So that was the reason we launched Turbanizer.com, where anyone in the world can go online upload their photo and see what they would look like in a turban. Well, we hope that everything that you do is there for years to come. Many thanks, Ash Singh, for joining us on Young Turks Thank in you. Singapore. We wish you the very best. Thank of you life. very much.